Hey guys, the amount of people who want to sell their magic collections right now is a lot. I'm getting, you know, probably anywhere between a dozen to two dozen emails every single week about people wanting to sell their collection. And many of these people, uh, this is an individual who lives in Iowa and he is willing to drive to Texas to sell the collection. So that's not a good sign. The market is not healthy. Uh, if you follow the news, you will know that the jobs, there were 818,000 more predicted than, than actual jobs. Uh, that's kind of a very, very big delta in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how you make that type of mistake, but regardless, the mistake was made. Economy is not good right now. Stocks are really, really good. Stocks are very high, but inflation, I was reading, reading somewhere where like everyone's like a millionaire. And the reason that everyone is a millionaire is because the rate, your home is so valuable. But like I live in my home, I purchased my home for $340,000, basically cash. And now my home is worth, according to the US gov or to the government, I actually went uh, to protest this because I didn't think my home was worth that much. Five hundred and sixty thousand dollars, five hundred and fifty-five, six, something like that. So, in a very short period of time, I'm talking about just a couple of years, the government has said my home has risen more than two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So, my home price has gone up from three hundred forty to three hundred five hundred and sixty-ish. And that's how much they want me to pay taxes on. So I'm almost paying almost double the taxes now. So there are fewer jobs. The tax rate is very, very high because everyone's property is through the roof. And it'd be like, oh, I rent. I don't have this issue. Well, you have the same issue because your landlord probably raised the rent on you because they're paying more property tax. That's them, you know, that's the cycle. There is no such thing as... Uh, yeah, there's just no such thing as there's no such thing as a free lunch, right? And we are seeing this uh, more and more and more. Um, in fact, uh, the one card game I'm still buying is Weiss. Every time I open the eBay, there are more of these cards, and these cards are getting cheaper and cheaper because there are people in Japan. I think Japan is really, really bad off right now, uh, economy-wise. And they're just selling their Weiss cards for pennies on the dollar, man. Legitimately pennies on the dollar. So I'm going to be able to pick up a lot of really interesting cards, in my opinion. Uh, and then just kind of store them away for Farina, my daughter. Also, another really important thing. Um, now that I have a daughter, I can really understand this a lot more, more clearly. You want to put money in your kid. You don't want to put money in a card game. I, I'm pretty much done buying. I, I'll still buy on eBay, but I'm not going to buy a $10,000, 22000 collection in MetaZoo. This is just not in the cards for me anymore. Now, if it's something that we have fun opening. We, we have fun opening Weiss boxes, uh, definitely. So we still buy the Weiss box from time to time when we see a, a decent priced box. But uh, we're probably going to call it quits on the heavier stuff. Like a collection, people don't understand. If you want to sell a $22,000 collection, or a, there, there, there's not that many people who can take that type of collection. Even Card Kingdom won't do it. Um, I, I've heard many stories where Card Kingdom doesn't take that collection, and what actually happens is they send you back a bunch of cards that they say are not the good grade, the grades they want, and no one really knows uh, wow, you put baby to sleep and then baby just cries. You know, I, I just really don't have time for uh, Magic the Gathering uh, all that much anymore. I, it's sad, you know. I still enjoy the game. But baby be crying like every hour on, on the hour, you know. So anyway. Yeah, the... Amount of people who can afford to buy twenty-two thousand dollars 
$42,000 of stuff isn't that much. You know, there, we're not talking about a lot of individuals here. We were talking about a very, very few amount. And in my, my opinion, when you do this, right, um, I think at the end of the day, and when you have a collection to sell, you're not the only one selling and there's not that many people buying. When the economy is bad, the economy is bad. Um, it's just how it is. People don't have jobs. Uh, you look at Boogie2988, that's probably the average Magic player right now. The economy is tough. And people who are making good money are no longer really buying into this stuff. You can see in sports cards as well. Uh, it's not, you know, and you can see in Pokemon, it's very volatile right now with the alternative arts and as well as the older sets. So I think overall, this is not a great investment. Uh, and people who are trying to offload their entire collection are getting absolutely savaged. You know, I, again, I had the dude, he's willing to drive from wherever that place is to Texas to sell his cards. And I'm just like, no, no, please don't come. Do not come. I, I also don't think I will ever own a game store again. Um, when you have a child, it really does change your perspective in owning a game store, even though it was, you know, love, hate, la hate, love. It just takes too much of your time. You'd rather spend it with your kid. And that's where I am right now. I'm probably not going to sell off my collection. I'm going to hold it because I do enjoy what I have. I'll rip a box of a few friends here and then when I do have time, but I'm not buying these large collections at any price at this moment in time. And I don't foresee that changing for a long time. Uh, the reason that I'm just kind of out of buying it, you know, I used to pick up a 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 collection every week during COVID period. And I just not going to do that no more. Uh, I think in in retrospect, I do think that when you have a, yeah, when you do have a interesting thing where you have a large collection, the amount of people willing to buy it at a decent price has just collapsed. At least in Houston, it has. And I, I'm just kind of done, right? I am just kind of done. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Interesting video, I know. Hi, guys.